Oh, I'm all right. Um, these are rather odd and unprecedented times. Can you sort of walk us through your feelings and how you're trying to put a team together with so many guys not playing? Well, as always, this is not only my job. I mean, uh, everybody, the whole organization, uh, the medical staff did an unbelievable job in these days, working literally day and night, and the coaches work hard. Um, they are in their, their, their places. Uh, everybody did his job. Everybody did his own uh, part of, uh, of uh, the game preparation. So uh, I think, I think uh, given the circumstances, we are, we are pretty ready. We had a pretty good practice. We, players came in with uh, good energy. Um, everybody contributed. Everybody was focused. Of course, we are a little, a little bit shorthanded, but, but we feel we can... Uh, we desire to go to go tomorrow on the floor and, and compete. Given that this is the first time something of this magnitude has hit this team this year, how were the spirits? Like, how were guys, were they worried about each other, about getting close to each other? Like, uh, how was feeling on the court? Yeah, I mean, before practice, of course, we were always uh, uh, wondering how our, our, our bodies were doing, right? Back home and everybody, is in touch with uh, almost everybody, so we knew that they are they are doing pretty well, and uh, and uh, that we uh, at this point the the ones who are left gotta you know focus on on the basketball task and let everything will happen out of our of our gym at least for those uh, you know hour hour and a half and tomorrow those three hours and, and uh, either either even even work harder. Uh, to to uh, you know to try to do our best effort even for the guys who will not be able to to be with us tomorrow. Great, thanks very much, Sergio. I really appreciate it as always. You're welcome. Thank you, Doug. Uh, we'll go to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hi, Sergio. Um, yeah. What are you going to do at point guard? I mean, I presume you can't play Kyle 48 minutes, but uh, you're obviously down. Uh, Fred and uh, Malachi. So how do you see you managing those minutes without Kyle? Well, we have uh, basically DeAndre Bembry, who has been playing really well at the point for us this year already. And then uh, Jalen Harris came back from the G League bubble and he, he's going to be ready if we'll need him. And then in our system, we have many players who can handle the ball, bring it up, push it in transition. Our, our basketball is a pretty high tempo basketball. Um, I mean, we have many players who can really, really bring it up and push it and get into our structure in the, without really always needing, uh, say, a, a designated uh, point guard. Thanks, Sergio. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Michael. Uh, next question, I'll go to Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Hey, Sergio, how are you? I'm, I'm pretty good, uh, thank you. How about you? Hey, I'm doing well, thanks. Um, Obviously, when something like this happens, it's it's an opportunity for those who, who are still around and able to play. I'm just wondering, is there is there an individual on the team that you think can really use this opportunity and, 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 and you know, or maybe an individual that you can get a better look at that you normally wouldn't, that you're looking forward to? Well, it's a little hard to say, right? This, this kind of things are hard to get planned. Yeah. Uh, I have pretty good feelings from basically all of our players in practice. I mean, everybody is ready to play. Uh, the two Gili guys jumped in, literally jumped in one minute before the practice, the practice started, um, and they did a good job as well. So I think everybody is ready to play. Of course, we can't, it's hard to play uh, 12 players, right? So we'll, we, we'll figure it out. Uh, but uh, I feel that I can count on any of those guys um, with, with confidence. I have, I have really full confidence on them. And this is what we spoke in this, in this, uh, hours in this couple of days with coach nerd, with the other coaches. So as you said, this is going to be an opportunity. So we'll offer them the opportunity to, um, you know, to show their improvement, their, um, capacity to adjust to an emergency situation. So let's see who's gonna seize the opportunity. Got it. And have you uh, have you settled on a, on a starting five, or are you willing to uh, talk about a starting five at this point? Well, we have thoughts. Um, we, I mean, we, 
you know, with this uh, basically uh, every second hour changing situation is better to yeah. wait until the, the very last moment. Of course, we have ideas. We have, you know, two or three ideas, but uh, it's better to wait for tomorrow, everybody, you know, uh, be safe, be healthy. And, um, and when is going to be the time we'll, we'll make a decision. But again, um, we, ha we have already a couple of options in front of us. We'll pick up one tomorrow before the game. All right. Thanks, Sergio. You Stay safe. Thanks, Michael. Uh, we'll go to Stephen Lung from Sportsnet. Hey, Sergio. Thanks for doing this. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um, I, 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 was just, I was just wondering, uh, like, like through, through, through your long coaching career, have you ever had to deal with a situation when you, you're kind of this shorthanded? And if so, like, like, what can you kind of take from that experience and apply it to here? Well, um, yeah, I, I, I had a lot. I mean, you can imagine so many years coaching that you, you can, uh, you have been through any kind of, of, of situation. Sometimes you had even seven players, but probably there were different times and, and, uh, uh, 48 minutes are not 40, so uh, we need uh, everybody to be ready to con to, to uh, give their contribution. I my experience is, is is good in this kind of situation. Normally, people understand professional people, serious people, committed people understand that uh, um, team can't afford uh, anybody to take a, a day off or, or or to be not really. 100% focus on on the, on the on the on the task on the floor and ready to you know give a contribution, help the teammates, uh, give their best. So normally in this kind of situation, uh, good players and good person, and and I I feel that you have a lot of good players and good person, basically all of them, in our team normally react in the right way. So so you you feel like 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 the the personnel that that is there on the team, they they, they have the right kind of mindset and professionalism. To kind of navigate through however long this spell is going to be there. Yeah, this is the feeling I had. I had tonight at practice. Of course, uh, you always need leaders and uh, good leaders and uh, good followers. Not everybody can be a leader, and uh, and uh, you also need people who, you know, uh, follow the example of the more you know most veteran guys, the guys who are, have been through this kind of situation. Uh, many other times, and, and I expect them to to really be, you know, the leader. It doesn't mean that they had to score 40 points each. I mean, they had just to play hard, to make the right decisions, to to keep a high spirit in the team. And and I'm I'm, I'm sure that the other guys who have uh, good habits uh, will will follow them. Great, thanks a lot, Sergio. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, we'll go to Moses from Global News. Hi, Sergio. I wanted to uh, talk to you just in regards to some of the questions you've answered uh, previously and following that up. This is an opportunity for some of those players to really shine, take this, uh, I guess, take the ball and run with it, so to speak. Did you feel that sense with the players talking to them, seeing them practice a little bit, just knowing that, you know, these are guys that are wanting to uh, have that opportunity to shine and perhaps maybe earn more minutes, earn more trust from the coaching staff? Oh, I think everybody is ready. I mean, I, I, of course, you have a feeling that people um, who uh, are not always into the rotation, uh, you know, had the, 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 that kind of, a, of a good vibe that they will definitely be into the rotation, uh, you know, having, having that attitude and, and bringing in um, a desire to do things, a desire to, you know, be vocal on the floor. Um, but at the same time, this is not a, like any game. It's not a game where people got to show uh, that they are individually able to score or, or, or to, to be, you know, the, the hero of the game. We, we don't need that. I mean, we have a strong system. Um, Coach Nurse system is a, is a collective system where people are able to shine but at the same time we need to share the ball we need to play for each other we need to do those little things which um at the end of the day make the team win so it's not a matter or, or, or you know feeling an individual desire to to do anything you know crazy special but just to bring uh, 
a higher level of energy and 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 uh, you know be more more uh, concentrated, be more focused, more committed into into the team task of winning the game. That's it. I guess perhaps uh, just a last follow up question for me would be uh, I guess perhaps it's just a matter of uh, letting these people uh, letting your players know to keep it simple uh, as they go out and just play amongst themselves. Is, is that the message you're you're telling your players going into tomorrow? Yeah, you're right. We, we try to have a pretty simple game plan for tomorrow uh, from from a coach's standpoint too. Uh, we understand that uh, uh, they're, you know they're kind of a little special circumstances. So we want to make sure they understand their the, the main concepts of uh, of our game plan. Then our system is not basically changing. Um, there are just little adjustment. Um, According with the, with who the, the next opponent is, but we have we have a way to 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 play. We have to way to play defense. We have to way a way to play offense. Um, we will make sure that b- before the game that we are we have clear which are their their you know strength points and 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 weak points and try to to you know do a good job and then. But mostly we have to uh, take care of ourselves and and uh, think about ourselves trying to present the best version of the of the of the best Raptors basketball that's it thank you okay you're welcome uh next question goes to Vivek Jacob from CBC Sports Sergio you've been talking about leadership and I'm just curious uh, over this time this difficult time what have you seen from Kyle Lowry in terms of setting that expectation that no matter who's out there's still a standard and a professionalism that's expected uh, Kyle has been great. I mean, even even tonight, it was it was excellent, leading uh, by voice, leading by example. Um, I mean, he of course is the most veteran player. Is a is a you know uh, franchise player. Uh, we we know him. Uh, I personally uh, admire during this this three years his uh, commitment, his competitiveness. And this is what he tried to do. I mean, make everybody understand that uh, whatever whatever the circumstance is, we had to go on the floor and compete and try to to you know get the boat into the harbor. We we got a little damage, but we had to try to to stay uh, you know floating and bring it to the harbor, and then we'll have a few days to repair it and and to you know start over uh, after the break with the uh, renewed energies and 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 uh, again trying to continue what we have been doing the last weeks i mean it was was a pleasure to see after our you know 2028 28 star uh looking at what we have done from then on so we have to we have the responsibility right towards ourselves uh to continue and to be to be consistent with uh, that improvement Fred and Pascal, have you maybe seen Norman Powell step in and try to take a, a bigger leadership role these last few days? Well, I think Norman has been doing has been doing that in the last weeks. So I, I don't think I don't think is nothing more than than I don't think we need more much more than what he did. He has been playing great in the last week, so for sure he will be ready to play. He, his hip problem. Uh, got way better, not 100% yet, but but is is going to be ready to go tomorrow. I guess I meant more verbally and like off the court type of thing. No, I mean, is 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 a boy. Yeah, he was talking with the young players. He was was you know chatting with uh, at the end of the practice with a couple of of them. Was you know clarifying a couple of concepts, a couple of mistakes they did during during a rotation or or, or a set play. So you're right. He, he was there. He was there with the vocal leadership as well. Thank you, Sergio. Yeah, you're welcome. We've got a couple more for you, Coach. Uh, we're going to start with Nikki Reyes from TSN Radio. Sorry, Nikki. I think you're on uh, mute there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, hi, Sergio. Hi, Nikki. I'm just wondering what your communication with uh, Nick Nurse and the rest of the coaching staff has been like, and how you guys have been uh, collaborating collaborating and and how have you relayed that message uh to the team well I call it, uh, the, the the communication has been basically uh 24 hours <laughs> it's 
So we've been, you know, changing ideas and chatting, and then we had a couple of Zoom calls. Um, we were, you know, going back and forth with uh, with options we had, with the, our our ideas. Everybody did his job as always. I mean, the game preparation really uh, didn't change, beside the fact that we were not, you know, uh, physically together. But we have been together uh, as always uh, throughout the the whole day during the last uh, three days. So uh, as always, this is a teamwork. I mean, we we know that uh, everybody has a has a role. Then maybe we got to be ready to to change the role if team needs it. But uh, at the same time, we got to make sure that uh, um, we all understand that this is coach nurse team uh, that. Uh, Adrian Griffin is the is the lead assistant, and uh, uh, everybody has his, has his own role, and we are we are proud and happy about that. So, is Nurse on the sideline on a computer watching through Zoom as you guys walk through practices or do any of your work? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I were IT guys. Uh, we we agreed on talk after practice, so uh, we had a with a you know Zoom call right before the practice would start. So. But is is at the same time, uh, Nick's philosophy is to delegate a lot to his to his assistant coaches. So we've always been like this during the last three years. So um, he's, he's of course uh, setting setting the pattern and the, and the main lines, but then uh, you know giving a lot of freedom uh, to to his coaches to uh, to do their job. He trusts them. Uh, show confidence in them, so that's that's good because all, all I mean that way of, of of behaving has been really useful to me in this in these circumstances in this in these few days. Awesome, thanks, Sergio. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, we'll wrap up with J.C. Rivas from Agencia F. A. Hola, Sergio. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, Julio. Uh, Puede levantar la voz, por favor. Sí, perdona. Me escuchas mejor ahora? Sí, gracias. Eh, como decías antes, eh, has vivido muchas cosas en tu experiencia, uh, nada, algo similar, pero nada igual a esto, por supuesto. ¿Qué es lo que dice el, el manual de Scariolo para enfrentarse a estas situaciones? Bueno, eh, tengo la suerte de, de no estar en un protocolo de, de cómo se, cómo se quiera llamar. Y así que tengo más libertad de movimiento, puedo, puedo estar en la cancha, puedo conectar con todo el mundo y, y tengo que ponerlo al servicio del equipo. Yo soy un jugador de equipo. Eh, evidentemente, en un momento determinado tengo que asumir un rol diferente. Lo, lo, lo he hecho, lo, no, no es nada nuevo respecto a lo que he hecho durante muchos años, pero desde luego las circunstancias y el, y el lugar son diferentes, pero... Eh, intento mantener alta mi concentración, intento mantener muy intensa la comunicación con el resto del mundo, intento ser un poco el, el anillo de conjunción entre, entre el, el coaching staff y, y el equipo y intento tomar las decisiones que me toca tomar eh, con, con, con sentido común y con eh, estudio ¿no? de, 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 de las cosas y, y poco más. Y en esta montaña rusa que está haciendo esta esta temporada, ¿hay algo que estés disfrutando? ¿Estás disfrutando algo en estos momentos? Bueno, honestamente, tengo las, como decía antes, tengo la sensación que, que nuestro bar, barco ha sido un poco tocado, hemos dado un escollo, pero, pero no está para nada hundido y, y, y tenemos un puerto muy claro, vemos ya donde casi estamos viendo el, 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 el faro ahí, de la, como si fuera el faro de la mola llegando a Formentera, <risa> ojalá este verano lo pueda ver eh, y, y eso y, y, y tenemos que, que hacer un, un esfuerzo en estos días que nos quedan para, para llegar ahí, es decir que evidentemente las circunstancias no son ideales, yo creo que lo, lo que todo el mundo tiene que hacer es hacer lo máximo de sus posibilidades ahora, cada uno en su parcela, cada uno en, en lo que le toca y llegar a este break eh, con, eh, con eh, mínimo de, de daño posible para luego pues eso recuperar y, y volver a, a despegar las velas cuando volvamos a competir. Gracias. Nada. Thank you.
Those are all the hands I see for you this evening, Coach. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, guys. Bye -bye. Thank you. Appreciate the time as always. All right, everyone, uh, that's it for t this evening. Uh, tomorrow's game has been moved to seven o'clock. I know today's game was scheduled for 7.30, but tomorrow has been moved up to seven. So uh, Sergio will speak pregame at 5.15, 5.15. Thanks very much. Thanks, Bill.